I don't want to command a kingdom's military. I simply want to contribute. To do something that helps people other than us, Mother. We are not the center of the world, and if we do not soon realize that, we will stagnate. You do not dare to refuse this, Aleria. It is a solemn duty, and I will not allow it. You never let me have a choice in anything. I have been nothing to you but an heir to a title. Even my name comes from your mother. I have never been me. I am not the only one of us who can shoot an arrow. He would turn away from us? Sylvanas was already as good as I am years ago. Better. Better, maybe, than I will ever be. I may be your second choice, Mother. But you will see that I am not second best. Identity came to her at last, at least partially. Ranger, General, Gweldori, High Elf. Windrunner. I am Sylvanas Windrunner. As if this realization had burst a dam, the fragments of recollection started to pour into her mind, flooding it, bombarding, overwhelming. The dead turned into something else, unliving things. A prince, a king, a knight of death. I salute your bravery, elf, but the chase is over. <laughs> I don't remember the exact moment I rested control. I do remember the rush of freedom, the clarity of purpose. When I loosed my arrow, I sought to become his judge and his executioner. I thought that if I could punish him for his crimes, I would be absolved of mine. Forgiven for the atrocities he forced me to commit against my own people. But there would be no justice that day. For anyone. That is yet to come. No, do not fear that we will stray toward the Alliance. 
They have shown clearly enough how they view us. It is my great hope that the Horde can look past our appearances to what we have to offer. Currently, the Horde only has support in Kalimdor. We are not the old Horde. Conquest and domination are not our goals. But still, I intend to keep my people safe and unthirsty. The Orcs must not become insular or complacent. It's clear that the Forsaken do indeed have much to offer us in that regard. I heard you were in the Lich King army once, and in that service you take many lives. Service? <laughs> no, enslavement. I could protest nothing he made me do. I was forced to use the power he bestowed on me to slaughter a city full of innocents, many of whom I had loved in life. Most of the Scourge were not sufficiently aware of themselves or their actions to understand what they did. Some of them, upon recovering their wits, lost them again in horror when memory returned. We have ear of a history like this one before, haven't we, War Chief? Of a subjugate people who do terrible things, and once free from that power they were filled with remorse. I have seen what the taint of demonic blood did to those who drink of that cruel cope. I do have some sympathy for what happened to you and your people, Lady Sylvanas. Their number are finite. If we don't help them, we doom them to extinction. But it's death not natural. It's this type of existence, right? Who are we to judge? We speak with our ancestor. We know that death is not the end. Perhaps the Forsaken are merely another aspect of that, created to teach the children of the world. Empathy. Lady Sylvanus, I have my doubts about bringing your people into the Horde, but they share with mine a common history, and for that, I will allow them to prove themselves. The Orcs are themselves again, and it's sound that your Forsaken are as well. We do hope so, Warchi. You will not regret your choice. You see, I'm afraid there was some spillage. Dranosh had a nasty accident with a rune blade. Bolvar developed a bit of a cough, as did a few hundred others. And Arthas left the party early. Putrus, what have you... What have we done? I will be the one that herald the Legion's victory over the traitor's Lich King. Not you. Even some in the Horde were deeply skeptical of both her and the Forsaken. This was certainly not the outcome she had worked so hard to achieve. Fortunately, Thrall believed her. Standing beside me, believing in me, helping me. had destroyed the weapon and the Lich King too. Others had gone before her and stolen her kill.
Stay back and stay out of my head. She saw only darkness. Even though she lacked a body with which to physically feel, emotions ripped her apart from inside her own awareness. Agony, fear, regret. Sylvanas would have screamed, but she had no mouth. King Arthas is dead. And you, Sylvanas, after committing suicide, when you can no longer see the meaning of living, you experience the dark oblivion that awaits you on the other side of the veil. But we are still bound to the will of the new dormant Lich King, imprisoned atop Ice Crown. Possibly for eternity. We hunger for our freedom as you once hungered for yours. We need a vessel, one like us, a sister of war, strong, who has seen the light and the dark, someone worthy of power over life and death. We need you. Sylvanus Windrunner, Dark Lady of the Forsaken, you may walk with the living again through the sisterhood of my sisters. As long as my sisters live, so too shall you. Freedom, life, and power over death. This is our pact. Do you accept our gift? Yes, we have a pact. Sylvanas returned to the world of the living and unliving, brimming with power tempered by the caution that had always been a counterbalance to her passion. A surprised Vol'jin became war chief when Thrall declined to resume the mantle. And then it happened. We'll take the ridge and cover your flank. Take up positions! We hold them off! We have to! It was no choice at all. Without the horde, it'll be overrun! The war chief had been brought home, clearly only in time to die. A single thrust from a spear. How had Vulture not seen it? Come forward. Watching. The lower spirits say death will claim me soon. In the end, death claims us all. But the Horde will live on. I have never trusted you. Nor would I have ever imagined 
In our darkest time, that you would be the one to save us. The spirits have granted me clarity, a vision. They whisper a name. Many will not understand, but you must out of the shadows and lead. You must be Vol'jin is dead. Who among you will help me avenge him?